it's time for another Q&A, folks. Welcome back to the Q&A show here. Hope you're doing well. Got a question in here. I don't have their name, so uh, I can't address them. I'm not going to read the entire question either because it's it's quite lengthy. I'll just kind of kind of uh, recap. Basically, he, the, this person's asking about um, how cloud moving to the cloud can affect jobs and uh, the fact that uh, you need to be a master of uh, many trades in order to compete in this industry and they feel like they've wasted a year of studying obsolete technology. So let me let me address this and I actually kind of talked about this in a previous video. Uh, I think it was the one regarding SDN and there was also another one about um, offshore jobs but let's talk about the cloud okay because the cloud's becoming a big thing these days. You know, we all we all understand, you know, what our, our, I shouldn't say we all. Most of us probably know what the cloud is for, you know, for those Apple users, you, you've got the cloud where you back up your iPhone and your iPad and all that stuff, and then you've got Amazon Cloud, you've got um, you know, Microsoft Cloud where you've got like OneDrive and Dropbox and You've got all these different companies that have options to store your information off-site, okay? So it's not sitting locally, and that's what the cloud is. And so a lot of organizations are moving their infrastructure to the cloud. So in other words, they're instead of paying for space at a, at a uh, data center, Okay, where all of their servers are are stored and 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 uh, running from, it could be local or it could be globally. I mean, it depends on the size of the company. A lot of companies have their servers distributed across many data centers around the world and around the country. So a lot of them want to minimize their infrastructure and move off to the cloud. One of the big things right now is Office 365. Okay, so companies are moving, uh, let me back up, companies that are running micro, Microsoft Exchange Server, which is a mail server application, for those of you that might not be familiar with it, it's, it runs probably 99% of the world's email, um, aside from maybe uh, Domino, <laughs> but uh, anyways, companies don't want to host their own exchange servers. They don't want to run their own exchange servers in their environment anymore. So they're moving to off-premises exchange and utilizing Microsoft Cloud, okay? And Office 365 so that they don't have to install Microsoft Office locally for all their users all over the place. Uh, so basically when they log in, they're, they're logging into their cloud account from the workstation. Um, there's no more need really for a Microsoft Exchange server administrator because all of that's taken care of by Microsoft. Uh, so there's some concern as to, okay, well, what's going to happen with my job? Is my job threatened? Okay. Am I going to lose my job? What else can I do? All of these are really good concerns. Now, the thing is, with, with technology, okay, I'm going to say this again. You have to be able to adapt and change with what's going on in the environment, right? So you, you've got to be aware of where the future is going, okay? And then you've got to follow the technology. You've got to follow where things are going so that you don't get left behind with the changes that are occurring every single day in this world of IT, okay, because it's changing all the time. So it's our job to keep ourselves up to date with what's going on so that we can be competitive in the marketplace and have a job, right? So the jobs aren't really going away, they're just being they're just being done in a different manner. So for example, you've got um, these companies, these cloud companies, right? they are responsible for managing the servers. So say you've got company A and B, right? And A and B says, I don't wanna 
I, 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 I don't want to pay people to manage servers anymore. I don't want to worry about the infrastructure. Let's have Microsoft take care of that for me, or let's have this company take care of that for me, right? So now that now they've scaled down their environment and they offloaded the work to somebody else, okay? Well, whoever they're offloading it to, like Microsoft and Amazon and all these different companies that are that are cloud-based companies, those companies still need employees to manage those servers. So basically the work shifted from one company to another okay I, I hope that makes sense so the jobs aren't really being lost necessarily they're just being shifted so now we might have to start considering moving to different companies that actually offer cloud services and maybe go work for some of them or we have to learn different areas of technology so that we can stay relevant in the company that we currently work with right and that's going to require possibly learning other areas of technology. So there, there's, there's this fine line between learning one or two different areas of technology. So for example, becoming like a exchange administrator or a SQL administrator or a developer or a any, any, any kind of uh, title you want to put on it, okay? We, we now have to broaden our horizons, if, if you will, and expand our knowledge into different areas of technology. It's, it's inevitable. It's something that, that's required of us. Unfortunately, we do have to wear many hats because that's just the way companies, that's the way they operate. You know, There are very large corporations, very large corporations, that have segments, okay? They have their IT department, IT department segmented into different groups where they've got all these different guys and gals doing specific jobs, right? But then you've got the smaller companies where they have one person doing two to three different roles and that's gonna require more knowledge from them. And so that's kind of the struggle that we deal with in this, uh, in this profession, unfortunately, and, and, and that's just something we have to live with. But I wouldn't be afraid or intimidated or scared that the jobs are going away, that you're going to lose your job. You just need to figure out where to shift, okay, and what direction to go into and be really cognizant about what's going on in the future of technology. You've got to really stay on top of what's happening and, and just kind of work your way through it and keep yourself relevant, all right? I, I, I talked about being relevant in a separate video, but this kind of goes along with it. And, it. and and to your point about wasting your time studying obsolete technology, prime example is me. I went to technical school in 1999, right? And that's when things were starting to ramp up in technology. Um, High-speed internet really wasn't around just yet, okay? It, it, we were still dealing with the dial-up. I studied Windows, Windows, 95 and Windows NT, okay? Um, Novell was still kind of around, right? These are all things that a lot of people that are watching this video, younger folks, have never heard of before, okay? So I went to school, I spent about $18,000, and quite frankly, I didn't really learn much. The, the most I learned there was how to take apart a computer and how to fix it, the, all the hardware and stuff like that. So it's kind of a, it, you didn't really waste time, right? You just did what was, what you needed to do at the time you did it, okay? If that makes any sense. Because the times are changing so fast, technology is changing so fast, that anything you studied two years ago is probably obsolete. Okay, there's versions of, of uh, it, it, let, let's go back to Microsoft Exchange Server, okay, or any Microsoft product, Office, SQL, Exchange, you name it, SharePoint, any, any of the products that they put out, okay, there are companies that are still running Windows 2003 Server, okay, 2003, okay, um, there are companies that are still running 
Microsoft Exchange Server 2007, right? That are just now going to Exchange 2013 version when 2016 is already out. So it's a constant, constant just learning, 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 learning. You're never going to learn it all. You're never going to complete that, okay? We're always going to be evolving. And there's plenty of careers that have to do that. I mean, doctors have to do it. Mechanics have to do it. CPAs have to do it. Any, any good profession is going to require that level of constant, constant growing and expanding their knowledge. So it's not just information technology. It's pretty much most professions, right? And so this was a little bit longer video, um, but I mean, there's just a lot of information to cover. So hopefully you stuck through through with this entire video. If you have any other questions on it, let me know in the, in the, in the comments below. Thank you so much for the questions coming in and uh, I'll keep doing this. Thank you so much for your subscription to this channel. If you're new here, welcome. Subscribe if you feel like subscribing. Um, download my uh, resource guide as well if you haven't got that down below in the link um, in the description box. I appreciate every single one of you for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you here on the next video. See ya.